Guys, I'm back. And I'm back with a banger. So, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Anyways, today I have a video for you guys about what I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey and the lessons I learned throughout my fitness journey. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coffee. If you haven't got a chance to go subscribe, what are you waiting for? Let's go, subscribe, and let's get right into the topic. Your girl got her coffee today, no pre-workout, which I don't even need, honestly, because my energy is always on a thousand. So, every time I start a video talking, Mango wants to join, so I'm, I might as well do a video with Mango, but anyways, let's sit and have a chat. This shirt, shout out to Chrissy, who came through, quality is on point don't be sleeping don't be sleeping because this is on point so tight and nice yo christy you are doing the damn thing but waste no time let's get to it you so far come closer don't be shy come closer things i learned throughout my fitness journey um let's get right to it let's get right to it I'm gonna say the main main thing that I actually learned from my fitness journey that no one told me was goal setting. Goal setting is such an important part of your journey. You need to go, you, you need to know where you're going. When I first started my journey, I just wanted to lose weight. So I was doing all type of videos. I was doing everything honestly not knowing that i needed to have a program when you have a program it doesn't mean that you have an ending because the program is going to evolve and it's gonna and it's going to change every three to six months your goal should be changing with you as well so when i first started my fitness journey i wanted to gain weight um obviously as you saw pictures that i posted on my instagram or videos that i've been talking i gain weight traumatically i lost weight traumatically um so all of my journey until i would say a few years ago where i really got into fitness and health and just went back to school for my purpose and i really focused on really figuring out what is my goal and what is it that i want and how could i get there healthy and using science lesson number two would be Nutrition. Nutrition and working out goes hand to hand. It's just part of the journey. You, you have to learn how to have a relationship with your food. You have to stop thinking in your head that food is bad, that, 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 that you are not able to eat certain food. You are supposed to eat all types of food, guys. There's no bad, there's no good. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no bad food out here. It's all about portion control. The only thing that I would say um, that I am very cautious about would be sugar. I don't like how sugar makes me feel. I don't like what it does to my body. I just don't like sugar. But when I'm saying sugar, I'm not saying all type of sugar. So, yeah, no. Um, so, nutrition is very, very important. I feel like people either... They either have a good relationship with food or they don't. And most people have a really bad relationship with food. And they just don't understand how important food is. I really would never advise none of my clients to diet. I would just teach them how to use food as fuel. And just have a good relationship with food. Because you need to have a relationship. You need food. I feel like the fitness industry really have to get their shit together and get the facts straight for them we could all share this information i feel like dieting is very dangerous when you put it out there because all of these people might want to look like you or might want to do what you do and to be very very careful when it comes to what you say online another lesson would be ask for professional help you have people like me that go to school to learn, to be able to teach and guide, learn about the body, learn about food, learn about 
energy levels, ATP, glucose. There's so many. There's so many things correcting exercises. Believe it or not, get professional help. I am a trainer. I am a nutritionist, and I have so many different hats, honestly. And I still, to this day, I still talk to other trainers. I still talk to other nutritionists. I still branch out and I still ask for help and I still learn. That is the job of a person who is in the industry. You are supposed to stay up to date. You are supposed because things change so fast. And not only that, there's so much to learn. So what I will always say is always seek professional help but one thing that i do want to say and i know that i do videos and i know that i put my content out there but one thing that i don't do is i don't give you specifics because you're not my client so i do not know what are your goals and what are your needs all these videos that i do are for information inspiration and guidance this is not tailored to anyone but maribel so if you do want a tailored program if you do want a tailor on meal plan you could dm me on the side or you could go to a trainer or go to a local gym i'm pretty sure they have amazing trainers there's so many good trainers out there you just have to find the right one for you um something else that i learned is consistency consistency is key and i learned that in a hard way and i'm gonna tell you why um consistency for me was something hard not because I wasn't getting my workout or my food in, but because I was being consistent and I would show up to the gym or I would work out at home. I will always try to move my body, but this is when consistency gets, um, got a little bit tricky for me. Consistency got tricky for me because I was either being consistent in one area of my life, but not the other, if that makes sense. So for example, if you're being consistent in the gym and you're showing up every morning um, to your classes, but yet you're not eating properly, you're not being consistent. If you're truly honest with yourself, you're not being consistent. So you have to be consistent throughout your whole entire life. That's why I always 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 talk about having a healthy lifestyle because it's just not going to the gym it's just not about eating healthy it's more than that it's all about mind mind having a positive mindset that is another lesson that i learned and that i share with my clients today having a positive mindset will take you so far you have to have a mind and body connection what does that mean that that means so much to me because i learned so much I learned so much with everything about the mind. Guys, if you have 10 minutes of your day, try to do a meditation. Try to relax your body. Try to breathe. When I mean breathe, I mean... <sighs> There's so many different types of breathing that can help you. You have the rabbit breath, which is where you breathe really quick. You also have... Smelling the flowers breath. It's like where you pretend as if you were smelling flowers. You have the bubble um, breathing, which is you're going to pretend like you're, you are popping bubbles with your breath. There's so many different types of breathing that could actually benefit you that you have no idea. So many resources and so many things that you have that we are not using. But that's why you need to get professional help. And that's why having a mind to body connection is so important. As a trainer, I teach my clients from how to move their body to how to breathe properly. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Cheers. One second. Okay. Another lesson that I learned was to celebrate the small wins. Guys, you do not understand you just don't understand all of the pressure that you put on yourself, all of the pressure that you put on your body. And celebrating wins matters. And being proud of yourself matters. For example, I remember where I wanted to buy a lot of fitness clothes and I remember talking to myself and saying, I'm gonna work to, I'm gonna work my ass off and then I'm gonna treat myself. And I started to do that with my fitness journey to a point that that's how I am in life. 
I bust my ass. I work hard for the things that I want and I treat myself. And then when it's time, I work hard. I work extremely hard. But when it's time to treat myself, I treat myself. Example, I just got my hair done. Hard, so your girl needs to look cute or whatever. But treat yourself. If you notice, yo, I've been showing up consistently. I've been showing up to, I've been showing up for myself consistently. Remember, going to the gym is just part of it. You have to be able to show up for yourself consistently throughout your life. It's not only the gym. So when you show up for yourself, treat yourself. Remember, we are so blessed to be able to work out. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Even to have a cup of coffee in the morning, I don't know if you are able to digest. Not everybody is able to get up in the morning and put their coffee. Everything you do is, you should celebrate yourself. The same way that you celebrate your friends, your spouse, um, your lover. You should celebrate yourself. You should really be celebrating all of your mile, all of your milestones, honestly. Every milestone that you hit, you work hard for. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your wins. Okay? Um, another very important one for me that I learned and I just was... And I'm being honest right now. Like, I'm being honest. I'm really being honest. One of the lessons that I learned was plateau. Um, understanding what plateaus means. It means you're stuck in a certain weight or you're stuck and you just, and, and your body is just, and you're working hard and you're just like, nothing's changing. When that happens, I really have to learn, okay, I am in plateaus. And I might be saying it wrong, but I know you know what I mean. Don't try to be funny anyways. So my body was just not changing and it was staying stuck. Um, so at that point, the lesson for me was I have to sit down and re-evaluate my goals. I really have to sit down because at this point, I can't lose any more weight, obviously, or I can't gain any, in, any more weight. It depends on the person. For me, my lesson was I really cannot lose any more weight. I am tiny. Um, I I lost the weight that I wanted to lose, but then I still have certain areas in my body that did not look how I wanted them to look. Um, and I just didn't know what to do. So I had to really reevaluate my goals, reevaluate my program, and just think about what are my goals. Like, what is my goal? That is my video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have not gone to work out with me, what are you waiting for? I love making videos for you guys. I love working out for you guys. I'm trying to figure out what content do you guys like because y'all are hard to read. Like, talk to a girl. Sheesh. I'm trying. This is a, this is a relationship that is like, yeah, what's up? But anyways, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.